All right, guys, we're back. Three pound fish in the middle of the day. Does barometric pressure matter? We just got back on the water. We just had a massive rain. A front just moved through. And uh, to be quite honest with you, we're in the middle of the day, too. We're in the middle of the day. We got everything working against us. We're going to see if we can put some big fish in the boat, see if they're hungry, see if they're eating. I've always had mixed feelings about barometric pressure and whether or not it's reality or not. But this afternoon, we're going to, I'm going to be honest with you, I'm going to tell you whether or not I think it affected the bite or not. Of course, it is the afternoon. It's going to be a tough bite regardless, but we're going to put some fish in the boat. You know we're going to do that. So uh, thanks for joining me. Let's do this. It's going to be a great afternoon. Oh, let's see. Which one do we want to start with today? Let's just go with the e-frog. We're going to start with the e-frog. That's that bait right there. Love it. Um, I don't know. Overcasty day. Something bright. I think that's going to work really well. We'll see. All right. First fish. On the old carrot. You gotta love the carrot, man. Bam. Good fish, too, to start with. Boom. Nice solid eater right there. Let them go, of course. And that's the carrot, man. Those are the new hair jigs that you can buy singles. You can just buy one of these guys. It's a crazy good deal. Only like two bucks. You can even buy them in a, like a combo pack. Very inexpensive hair jigs, man. And they last forever. So check them out at 3poundfishing.com. We're just fishing this, this stump here. Pretty much right in the middle of the creek bed. Um... That's all we're doing. And I don't know if the bio, biometric, the biometric pressure is uh, affecting anything right now or not. I can tell you that we've got some active fish. I think a lot of people think too, after a rain, uh, the fish do get aggressive, it seems like. Um, but the old way of thinking though, of course, was that you didn't want to fish after a front came through and he just took that and I didn't, I wasn't quick enough for him. Oh, a small guy. All right. But it's a fish, and we're in the middle of the day. A lot of those lakes, that fish would eat. Oh. Yes, baby. Yes, baby. All right. Look at the sea of fish right there. Good night. Now, most of the time when I see a pile like this, I know that the majority of them are gonna be small. This kind of thing here. It's not to say you can't catch a good sized fish out of there, because you will from time to time. You definitely will, but majority of them are gonna be small eater size, um, but you're gonna have a lot of fish. I mean, it, here's another one. I mean, that's just the way these piles are. And this, Pile looks like it's giving off about nine inches, nine and a half inches. So we're going to move on. But that's something right there you could probably stick on. And I guarantee you there's good fish in there. I mean, you could just do it pretty much all day, I'm sure. And you'd catch occasionally the big fish. But we're going to move on and try something different. Uh, look for some fish in the dirt. Because, again, I think that's kind of where the bigger fish are. Hammer 10, getting her done as always. So before we fish this new location, um, I just want to give, give you an idea of my setup that I have my boat. How I, what, what do I carry in terms of tackle? Now, I have basically three main plastics containers. They look like this, okay? Plain old boxes, no big deal. I start off with one that has kind of just your standard minnow style baits. And that's what that guy is right here. Then I have another one here 
there are all my moving baits my baits like uh, curly tails paddle tails anything like that gets put in the sniping braid plano box right there now i do have one with all the different funky colors if i got a bunch of different companies whatever different colors different varieties i like to use that one for that i always have a hair jig on my home lake, I like to, I like to use uh, 132nd ounce baits, but on all the tournament trails, it's almost always 1 16th. Um, so I always have a box full of the size out that I'm using on that particular lake. Here it's 132nd. And then lastly, we've got our jig heads. We got our jig heads, uh, every imaginable color that three pound fishing offers, even the new styles there, the nasty hooks are in there, jigs are in there. Um, so I always have that. That's just basically like kind of a pro pack, a big pro pack uh, that I carry. But they are available on the website, but a smaller version, which is really awesome. So uh, Hammer 10, I always have about four 10 footers. So regardless of the rod that you use, I use the Hammer 10. That's of course mine. Um, I like to have four rods always set up with different varieties of baits. Makes it easy, quick, quick, quick uh, when I want to make a change, et cetera. Like today, I mean, we're fishing in the middle of the day. It's not that easy. Uh, a lot of different factors playing into it, but it, at the end of the day, I like to switch back and forth. So we're actually going to be trying the, um, I just had it out. Yeah. So right now we're going back to the Patriot with a black head, a plastic and seeing how that works. So that's where we're at with it. There we go. All right. So it's kind of a finicky bite. There's no joke about that. You know, you just can't really attribute it to one thing or another. We knew we wouldn't be able to do that. Knowing that we're coming out here with two factors, midday, midday, kind of a bright day. It's an overcasty day, but still sun's out. And then of course, the fact that we've been rained on, we've probably got about three inches of rain uh, in the last eight hours. So a lot of factors going on here. We're just trying to see if we can't find some aggressive. I'll tell you what, I think the fish are aggressive. We're definitely not finding the bigger fish. There's one right there. That should be a better fish. Yeah, it's a good fish. Better fish. So they're not, I mean, they're aggressive fish. Still kind of a smaller eater size though. Um, and they're liking the hair jig. They're liking the hair jig. At least they more so than just a straight plastic. Now I would like to play with some plastics that have some movement, some action on them, I should say. That would probably be a good thing to do. I mean, they're just, they're crazy active. I mean, they're moving. That guy I didn't think was gonna catch up to it. So I'm gonna go right back down to that group. See if I can't pull another one up. Yep, here they come. There it is. Oh, dang, I lost them. That was a good fish. Felt like a good fish. Dang it. Dang it, dang it, dang it. Now, one of the things that you can take advantage of this summer, this winter, this fall, for that matter, is book a guide trip with three-pound fishing. Not only can you have a guide trip that's going to be second to none, A-plus, but you can possibly stay at the three-pound fishing guest house, which is it's a nice house have an option to rent a pontoon boat. In other words, make it a family affair. Bring the wife, bring the kids, me and you go fishing uh, for a guy trip. It doesn't get any better than that. It's always gonna be A plus. So uh, just check it out. So I had to stop in here, make sure the gas, the pontoon was gassed up for the next guest. And uh, so we're gonna hit another spot around here. So let's do it. Mm. All right. Trying a different color out here. Pretty much the first drop with it. And that worked. Going with a pink. Pink, pink, pink body. Seem to like it. Now that is interesting. Even if they're small fish, the fact that I've had two casts. 
All right, guys, well, that's gonna end it. The sun has come out and it has gotten super nasty, uh, heat wise, man. It's crazy. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get back to the house. And, uh, but anyway, I appreciate it. I, does the barometric, barometric pressure matter? I don't know, man. I had aggressive fish and I went through quite a few baits though, and I couldn't get a ton of them to bite, but I definitely caught a bunch of fish, just never any big ones. So, you know, my vibe is that it doesn't really gonna, it's not gonna really change anything. It's not what gonna, it's not gonna be what determines whether or not I go out on the water or not. So at least that's what I feel it is. But either way, it's a great day. Please subscribe, share all that good stuff. Appreciate you guys. See ya.